Hey guys, it's Brother Rashia. I was um, in the garden this evening and I was just thinking about you as I was uh, picking this okra and sitting by the okra. You guys know that Sister Abby, she loves okra. <laughs> and it's that time of year again. So we've planted the okra uh, and they're starting to sprout. We're starting to produce a good harvest. Um, and we've been doing this for about the past two to three years. And as I've been doing this, um, planting the garden, us as a family, Sister Abby Yah and I, uh, I've learned a couple couple of things about Yah's word. It, it, made me it made me appreciate Yah's word even more and how his principles are true, family. I always talk to you guys about our people, the Israelites, they are agricultural people. And they always talk, Yah talked about the seed and fruit. Um, Yahushua talking about you reap what you sow. Um, you know a tree from its fruit um, and as we, we work in the garden and stuff I just think about how um, we're getting this harvest but in the beginning it didn't look like that family um, look look at these okra right now where they're at they're starting to grow some of them are starting to sprout um, you see the flowers on some of them uh, I picked some of them this morning and some are mature some not some are still ripe I said some are growing um i wish i could see a big one but look at this small one right here but what i want to tell you family is that when we started this garden when we, every year when we started it's not like that the uh we have to put our seeds in the ground it takes a while we have to be patient um sometimes we feel like man or or the <laughs> are the the okra going to sprout and when we start thinking uh did we plant them too late but no eventually they start to sprout they start to produce a good fruit a, produce a good crop and that's my encouragement to you family don't get discouraged um sometime when we come in the garden <laughs> like when I, I planted this year the the flower beds they were full of grass you still kind of see some grass standing a little bit but i cleared it out before they started to sprout but you have to weed out the trash weed out the uh the weeds and it takes work and the scripture tells us if we're patient we will reap a reward that's in galatians chapter 6 um i think it's verse 8 and 9 it tells us that if we be patient we will we don't get weary from doing good and be patient we will reap a reward and that's what i want to encourage you today family just be patient in the in the word be patient with Yah. Some of you, I know a lot of times you get discouraged, but it's a part of the walk, family. That's what we talk about all the time. We just have to be patient in doing good. We just have to stay in our words, continue to be encouraged, because eventually, for uh, family, we will bear a good fruit. We will get our reward. <laughs> and this year, with the okra plant, we have been getting a reward. Every Just about every day, I come out and, and pick some okra for Sister Abby. I, I'm not too much of an act. Uh, okra person I just come out and pick it but I do eat it when sister Abby y'all cooks it um, but I just want to encourage you family y'all's principles are true they're all the same you have to stay encouraged keep planting keep planting seeds water it sometimes you have to weed these negative thoughts out of your mind weed the discouragement out of your mind um, watering watering your, your mind with, with y'all's word um, worship, worship music listening to teachings listen, listening to lessons last week uh we talked about giving giving to giving to your brothers and sisters giving to the poor um just things like that family just being encouraged in the faith so all those things family i hope this message was encouraging to you guys um i just want you to keep planting those seeds and if you're patient you will reap a reward family talk to you guys later